Tapat na yung ano ko, day 4 and dito na natin pupuntahan yung mga music store <coughs> yeah. Sinwin Violins Check it out So dito lang tayo nakapunta sa Sinwin Violins from our Singapore trip kasi medyo hectic yung schedule and may F1 nga so maraming mga road closures and medyo mahirap puntahan yung ibang areas medyo napapalayo tayo so ito yung mga instruments also um, nag check din ako ng mga case konti lang ngayon yung options nila dito but still the same good quality items no, na makikita natin dito Ayan, so for now, let's check out yung mga instruments and I'll do a little bit of a commentary on each one, no? Na naaalala ko pa kasi medyo madami ako na testing. So, yung tao sa store, he let me choose the instrument na gusto kong i-testing. So, I think this one, medyo nahiya ako kasi nakita ko yung mga prices nila. So, kumuha lang ako ng random instrument. I forgot kung how much talaga siya. Pero, I think it's around 8 to 9,000 Singapore dollars yung price nito. I think it's a European uh, made instrument. No, parang made in Germany yata to. Hindi lang ako sure pero this is how it sounds. <laughs> So, yun, maririg yun tito ko sa background, no? Nagsasalita siya. Sabi siya, 1 million daw. Pero, yun yan, nalito din kami sa conversion. Pero, it's around 800,000 pesos, no? Yung violin na to. Super ganda ng sound niya. And, super gaan. Guarneri, um, pattern. And, it's an Italian made instrument. No? Nakadisplay lang sa mall. Isipin mo yun sa kanila. Dinidisplay lang nila. 20,000 Singapore dollars so roughly around 820,000 pesos tapos naka-display lang sa mall sobrang ganda ng sound and I just want you to hear it sabi sa akin I think it's equipped with obligatos yung strings na nakakabit dito sa instrument na to so yan enjoy nyo na lang yung sound niya <laughs> Okay, so this one is their most expensive instrument sa shop nila when we came in. So, 29,000 Singapore dollars. So, ito around 1.2 million pesos, no? Pero, personally, I like the 20,000 dollar one. And this one is equipped with uh, dynamo strings. So, According dun sa tao sa shop, mas gusto daw nila yung dynamo strings over 
other uh, more expensive strings in that price point. So, medyo lalo akong budget to buy the strings. Ang um, SRP niya doon is around 7,300 pesos. So, almost the same as Eva Golds. So, medyo mahal kaya hindi <laughs> rin ako bumili. Tsaka hindi ko pa naman kailangan. But yan, pakinggan nyo itong $29,000 dollar. Uh, Singapore dollar violin and you be the judge which one would you prefer the 20,000 one or 29,000 dollar one This one's around 9,500 Singapore dollars. German violin din, as far as I can remember. Sabi nung tao sa shop, uh, maganda yung low tones niya. So, uh, I certainly agree with them. Kasi yung mga high notes niya, very piercing yung tunog. And yeah, it's actually pretty decent din. No? For the price, maganda din talaga yung mga quality ng instruments nila. Uh, medyo mataas ka lang no? pero you get I think you really get what you pay for eh, for these types of instruments pero uh, di ba kung ikaw Pilipito ka lang nagpumupunta ka sa mga malalaking music store sa mga malls di ka makakita ng <laughs> ganitong klaseng instrument yeah, so this one's 9,500 Singapore dollars 9,500 I think this one yung Sinwin brand, no, in-store brand nila. I think it comes from China. Sabi nung ano, taas sa store. And overall good quality din, no. I think nung first time ko pumunta sa Singapore, makapag-try din ako ng Sinwin brand. Parang around 96,000 pesos. So, around the same price, no, 2,000 to 2,500. Very good quality instruments, no. Pwede na sa mga ano advanced talaga na players so, pero kung beginner ka wag ko nabili ng mga ganito lalo na kung wala ka talagang balak mag pursue but you know it's good quality instruments could help you uh, perform better yeah, so, ito yung last instrument na natry ko sa shop nila So, ito, pictures nung 2017, last time na pumunta ako sa Sinwin. Same store sa Marina Square. Ayan, so kung mapapansin nyo, mas marami yung inventory nila before. Ngayon kasi, nawala na yung ibang mga areas. So, puro violins na. Wala na rin yung novelty items na uh, binibili natin. Like pencils, notebooks, konti na lang yung natira. Pero overall, great experience. No? Kung pupunta kayo ng Singapore, Go head over to Sinwin Marina Square. Because for me personally, that's the most accessible na music store. Sa based on location, no. Siguro sa akin lang do sa mga napagsistayan namin. But overall, always good service, no. Na uh, pagbibigyan nila yung mga request, no. Kung mga pagtesting ka ng instrument, magpapaheram sila. Magsabi lang kayo, no. Sa mga staff. And sa next nating vlog, I'll show you what I got, no? Uh, my haul sa mga accessories and strings uh, na nakuha natin dito sa mismong store na to. And so, if you like this type of content, uh, please do like the video. Comment down below kung aling violin yung bibili nyo kung meron kayong budget. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all my socials. And thank you for watching.